a fine start at your house this morning. It's shaping up to be a beautiful day. Somewhere around 36 degrees, it was ice on the windshield this morning. But uh, we're headed over here to take a look at a man's generator. And uh, they called me last night. Sound like an elderly gentleman. And we got a supposedly a brutal storm <coughs> on the way. Well, with the way the news is today, and YouTube and all your naysayers out there that like to frighten people for clickbait, um, they're scared the electricity is going to go out and stay out for days at a time. Well, of course, that's a good thing to be scared of. But at the last minute, it's not a good time to be doing that. Look. In 10 miles, turn left onto North Rock Street. Luckily, this is my slow time of the year. But I, will, I just want you to know I can't make four, I can't make five or six calls a day whenever you've got carburetion problems. Can't. Not unless I go out and just change carburetors. And I'd have to have so many carburetors on my truck. My goodness. I'd have to have at least 20 different kinds of carburetors on my truck to be able to service everybody. Anyway, if you guys know, check it out. I know there's other mobile mechanics out there or even just mechanics out there that may be in touch with this this subject right here and know what are the very best carburetors that will cross with the most kind of engines out there to buy and I'm not talking about no Chinese made bulls and corn uh -huh. I'm talking about good uh Briggs and Stratton Parks, Kean Parks, McKinney Parks, uh, and help me narrow it down to what I do need to carry on my truck to get me out of out of bias. Like if I had four or five calls to make in one day, because it would certainly be nice. This little crown jewel right here has a switch. It's an electronic switch on the bottom of it. And it is controlled by your fuel switch right here. Whenever you put it over on the gasoline mode, it opens the valve on the bottom of the carburetor for the gas. In the bottom right hand corner of this picture, there's two green and white wires and they control your electronic fuel valve. You can unplug them there and test your switch. And you could also uh, test your uh, solenoid valve with, uh, if you have uh, battery leads that will allow you to test them. On the bottom left of your control board, you have a propane hookup. You can look here and see just how nasty this carburetor is. Here I'm trying to show where the idle stop screw is located. So uh, whenever I put it back together, it will be in the same place.
you throttle adjustment screw, you turn it in till it lightly seats, counting your flats. The idle stop screw was six and three quarters flats in. I got my carburetor soaking and I'm going to lunch and uh, I'm gonna have one of these guys cousins. I got back and cleaned the carburetor and um, reassembled it and as you see here the machine runs just great just like a brand new one uh, this machine probably don't have five hours on it this carburetor most carburetors have drain screws on it that's the drain screw right there on the bottom of the carburetor you want to run your engine till it runs completely out of gas getting everything out of the tank uh siphoning the tank drying the tank out and then draining uh, the carburetor at this screw right here will help you tremendously in starting up at a later date 